This is my orange coat. Well, no, it's not really my orange coat. It's my, it's my new orange coat. My old orange coat is, I don't wear it as much anymore. <sighs> this is a sad story. Okay, so it all starts in October 2016. Iz and I were in Boston for the weekend and we thought it was gonna be warm and it was not warm. So we're like, oh, let's go try to find some jackets to stay warm. So we stumbled into a Uniqlo. Uniqlo? Is it Uniqlo or Uniqlo? Is the emphasis on the first syllable or the second? Uniqlo, Uniqlo. We're gonna hear all about it in the comments. I'm just gonna keep saying Uniqlo because even though I think that's wrong, it feels right. And we find these down jackets sitting on the wall. Exactly what we needed. They were compressible and simple and warm and they were really cool colors. And so we both bought one and we were very happy. And suddenly I started wearing this jacket every day of my life for like months and months and months. I would bring it on trips. I traveled and did borders, basically wearing that jacket all the while. I brought it to the North Pole with me. It was just, it became kind of a part of me because it was so compressible. I could just slip it anywhere and I kind of fell in love. I loved this jacket so much that when I was in Tokyo shooting one of the Borders episodes, I stumbled into like the Uniqlo Mecca. It's like eight stories, seven stories, eight stories. This Uniqlo has 11 stories, 12 stories. And ended up buying another one of these jackets, this time in gray, which honestly was one of the bigger mistakes I've ever made. And I'll tell you why in a second. Yes, I'm on my way to the Norwegian mountains and need to go find a grocery store to shop so we can cook in this cabin. I'm going out with some buddies of mine. So this jacket became like really special to me. The problem was it was Uniqlo, which is good stuff, but it's not, you know, last forever type stuff. I wore this thing kind of down to the core. The zipper started to get a little bit worn down, the seams were a little bit weak, and the color started to fade. So I thought, man, I love this jacket so much that I will literally go like purchase another one of these exact jackets just so I can continue to wear it. I just love it, I love the color, I like feel like an identity with this thing. So I walk into a Uniqlo in Washington DC only to find that they've changed the design and the color of their down jackets. They now don't have any seams on them, which I really like the look of the seams. And they're not the same orange, they're a different orange. My heart sunk. I was like, oh no. So I like looked at the clearance rack, I looked everywhere. I could not find this jacket. And I was very sad. So, <laughs> so then <laughs> for Christmas, my brother-in-law found a knockoff, totally fake version of this Uniqlo jacket that's literally identical to the, the one that I had with maybe a slightly different color. Anyway, he got it for me. It came from China, it was a total like ripoff. Like it even said on the eBay thing, like patented Uniqlo coat. Like they were like very upfront of, with the fact that they were stealing the patent. Now I had two of these coats but unsurprisingly, the Chinese knockoff wasn't the best quality. Like it definitely started to kind of wear down as well. The water resistance just wasn't a thing on it. So I had the coat, but it wasn't really the coat. It was very much a knockoff version. I finally decided if I can't find this coat at Uniqlo, the original one, I'm gonna have to look somewhere else. So I started looking at Patagonia. Sure enough, in Patagonia, they have a very similar coat, similar color, synthetic. It's not down, but it's warm and it's water resistant and all these things. And I was super stoked about it. So I put it in my cart. I was about to buy it. And I go to buy it like a few hours later and it's sold out. Moments after I'd already added it to my cart and it was in stock, 
it, it, it became sold out. So <laughs> I'm starting to realize that maybe I need to rethink my whole strategy with this orange coat obsession. And so I'm revealing now that I have purchased a blue coat from Patagonia that is super warm, it's made of down, it is super robust, it has a little orange on it, but it's not my original orange coat. Here I am with Patagonia, I like the blue, and then I got this water resistant shell that is a nice beautiful orange, and that's how I'm reconciling the tension in my psyche surrounding not having my orange coat. This orange coat is actually waterproof, like truly, truly waterproof. Like water would not go in it, it just beads up, which is something I need because I'm often out in the rain. Uniqlo, if you're listening, I would definitely love to wear that old style coat. If you still have one in your inventory somewhere, send it my way. I will gladly replace it in two seconds if I, if I had an original of, of that design. It's become like a collector's item for me now. Okay, time to shop and then go into the mountains.